Will Litecoin support hold? We're going to talk about that here in a few. What's up, guys? Doing a Litecoin update tonight. Um, crypto Savvy here. Before I begin, I want to let you guys know I'm not a financial advisor and I do not give financial advice. Everybody that's investing in the market or trading in the market should do their own due diligence and their own research. With that being said, let's get into the charts here. I'm looking at the daily Litecoin chart. And if you haven't, I, I made a Bitcoin video earlier today. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. Um, but anyway, we're going to check this out. Uh, it's looking at the daily here. We'll zoom in and see what's going on here. This is the, uh, the channel I had outlined. <clears throat> And it looked like it was holding. We were staying in there, but we've dropped out of the bottom of it now. And it looks like we're holding support right here at the 29, 2970-ish area. Um, we could be looking at some more sideways action, or we could be looking at continuing down from here. And if we looked at, look at this as a channel, um, the measured move down on this channel would be around, let's see, would be right around this, let's see, yep, be right around this range. Um, it'd be the 20, 1950 to $20 range, but we do have a support at 22 where our old low was. It was actually not even quite 22, right around 22.18. Um, that this is the I'm going over the bearish scenario first, um, which it's still possible that that we could get another another move up. I'm gonna let's let's go into the RSI real quick. Looking at the daily RSI, um, same thing I have in the daily RSI of of bitcoin i have a rising rising widening wedge or ascending rising or widening wedge excuse me can't talk today um but we've we've uh stayed in this wedge bitcoin we've dropped out and um litecoin we're still in the wedge here if if we get an up move we can continue on up and maybe get another touch up here for another high um, let's look at the four hour but if we drop below this, I do want to say if we drop below this, we're probably going to have a pretty large sell-off. Um, let's look at the four hour. That was the channel we were watching for a week and a half or so, and it was staying in there really well. Um, and then same thing here. I said that if we dropped below, I was looking for one more touch up here because this kept making higher lows. And then once it passed, you know, there, if you were to draw a trend line here, once it passed that, it was just a sell-off. But I did um, explain to people to watch this bottom trend. And if that was broken, there would probably be a sell-off, most likely. And that's exactly what happened. So, all right, let's get back into the get back into the charts here. These are just some support and resistance lines I have drawn in blue. Um, from the ones that go pretty far back. But... We seem to be holding support right here at the 2973 range. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Um, what I'm seeing here is, you know, we could bounce around between this 2971 and 3118 range. And we may make a trading range in here for just a little while, uh, maybe maybe a day, maybe, I don't see it lasting more than, more than a day if we do stay in there. But I'm gonna zoom in a little bit further. Let's go into the one hour real quick and to look, see what that's looking like. I know I drew a, get rid of this line here. All right, so what I'm looking at here, you know, this could be a, a bear, a bear pennant here or bear flag whichever you want to call it and the measured move off of that 
you know, to get an estimated drop would be measure the flagpole. And you would bring it down here to where it broke out. So if it broke out here, we would be looking to go test the test the low. Um, and that would that's a good possibility to do a, a double bottom here and maybe continue up from there or at least get a nice bounce from here. Um, just a just an area to watch really close right now. We kind of got to see what's going to happen in here. Um, kind of draw this a little more so you can. If you guys are charting, you should definitely definitely start drawing these lines on your own and kind of give you an idea of what's going to happen. You know, if we break out of this top part here. Uh, which is going to be let's see we got 42 minutes left in this candle so if we were to do it in this candle which i believe we're going to get a move up or down probably w within this candle at the very very worst it's going to be the next hour candle which starts in 42 minutes but gonna have to watch this break here um 29.98 uh, if we break up from there we're probably going to get a nice little move up maybe Maybe right around to the 30, 38 range. And if we break down, that might begin the descend down to, you know, the 27, 2750 area. There's not a whole lot of support um, before there. There's a little bit right here at 2911, uh, 29, right around 29. But I think if we go that far, we'll probably continue down and maybe do a double bottom. And if we go beyond that, you know, then, then we're looking at quite a bit lower lows, which could possibly get us down into the, you know, the sub 20 range. But right now I don't, I don't see that happening any really soon anyway, unless there was just a huge capitulation candle and that would be signal the end of the bear market. And, you know, I'm, I'm not convinced that we haven't begun the the end of the bear market, but that's just my opinion and this that's all I'm doing is giving you guys my opinion of the market. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the subscribe button on the bottom right hand side of the screen and uh click the thumbs up that helps with my YouTube videos getting viewed. Um I'd really appreciate it if you guys would do that. Even if you don't subscribe, just at least click the thumbs up or thumbs down, doesn't matter. Um Leave a comment, any suggestions you guys might have, and, you know, I'll try to get to it later on. I'll try to do some live streams and maybe take some um, suggestions with people live if they want to look at different charts or whatever, whatnot, and kind of see where they're at with different coins. But anyway, as of right now, this is this is where I'm seeing. We really got to watch this range we're in. Um, yeah, kind of kind of just keep your eye on these you know these this resistance right here at 3119 and this support at 2972 and like i said if that support's broken i believe we're going down to at least the 27 25 area somewhere in there and then you know then we'll see where the market's at after that and check the data and and see what we're looking like but as of right now i i think this is just about where i'm where am I at with it? And other, well, I guess, hold on a second. Let's, let's look at this real quick just to see. Could this be, uh, I should probably change the color of this, but you know what? I'll just change the thickness for now so we can see it. But could this be a possible rising wedge and we move up from here? Something like that. Bounce up from here, get another touch on the top, and then drop down, or you know, up in here and back down. Or can we can we build enough momentum to break this? I'm gonna go into the 15 minute chart and look at the EMAs. Um, the reason I I do that is a lot of times if if the EMA lines cross in the lower time frames, they have a tendency to follow in the next time frame up. Um, I'll give you an example. Well, I'll show you what I'm talking about. 
we look go into the 15 minute chart and we zoom in here and and another thing while we're while we're doing this guys if you're uh if you belong to any groups any facebook groups or any you know on twitter if you could retweet these videos and maybe share them in your facebook groups or your reddit groups or um, Instagram whatever just kind of get the videos out there let's try to get some more subscribers on the channel but yeah here on the 15 minute chart if you look there's these are not looking like they want to cross um, where are we at on the, the RSI the RSI is still climbing out of the oversold area so we may have room to come back down possibly um, if we break this this support line or resistance line right here around the $30 range. Actually, it would probably be more down in here, the $29.90 range, somewhere in there. If we break above this, we may get a little rise back up to this area, which would be the 30, 37 that we were talking about earlier. Let's go into the five minute just for shits and giggles. Um, yeah, it's, Everything's looking pretty bearish here unless we have a turn up. I haven't looked at the MACDs. Um, see what the MACD looks like. Uh, let's go to the one hour. Check it out. MACD seems to be curving up a little bit possibly. Um, I don't know. We'll have to, like I said, we'll really have to watch this right here. See what happens. This will be the beginning of it. And as I'm doing it live, it's starting to drop back down now. Will this support hold? That's going to be the question, guys. Really watch this 2972 area. Like I said, if this breaks down, um, I can see us going down to that next support line right around the 2739. But anyways, hope this video helped out. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Click the thumbs up. Um, give it a share. Share it with your groups or whatever, whatnot, and we'll go from there. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.